Hey everybody, welcome back to Hawk's DIY. My name's Chuck, also known as Hook Said Hawk, and today is part three of the lower unit repair. And the parts are all finally here, so uh, we're ready to put this thing back together. <laughs> Alright guys, we're, uh, we're ready to put the oil seals back in the bearing carrier and to do that you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a, a ball peen hammer preferably uh, and then the, you're going to need an oil seal. Uh, what do they call this Jeff? It's uh, a seal driver. Seal driver, yeah. And then uh, of course the new oil seals and you're going to need thread lock blue and you need the the kind that this says resistant to gas antifreeze transmission fluid and oil so you need it resistant to oil and grease um, because you know that's going to be the elements surrounding the seals so the first thing we're going to need to do is go ahead and put some some of this uh, thread lock around the seals and I probably should have already had this open but uh, and there's always a plane going overhead <laughs> right in the middle of a video you know you know what I mean you know which one you're doing Yes, oh, Jeff, funny. yes. All right. All right. So, you got to put an outer seal. I'm called we're calling this one the outer seal. And you got to put that one in first. So, of course, you know, we got the bearing carrier all cleaned up and ready. So, this is the outer seal. And this is uh, Quicksilver part, Marine Part Number 26-8M0204700. Yeah, that's just how it works, folks. Yeah. All right, that'll work. Oh, let the trash man go by. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back in a second. All right, guys. So, as I was saying, the Mercury or the uh, outer seal here is the one we're going to do first. And we're going to need to take the thread lock, the blue thread lock. I haven't even opened this, so. Check it out first. Okay. So anyway, we're just gonna put a little bit of thread lock on that the outer part of the seal. Don't need a bunch, just enough to coat it. And I'm getting this all over the place. Drop that dude down in there. Which way does it go before you, before you put it in there? It goes in there like that. So the spring is facing, facing out. out. Hold on, before I do this. And you want some flashlights? So you, can you want a little bit, you want a little bit of 
thread lock inside the bearing carrier too. Okay. You can just so, not put any on the inside. You want to make sure. Yeah. So then you just drop that dude down in there. I got her the wrong direction, but that's okay. You need like a little <laughs> something to kind of. I got it, Jeff. All right, so then you just use your bearing seal tool, and it, do, it doesn't take much to set it. You just knock it until it bottoms out. Check your other side. Oh, I got it. I'll turn it over and see if it's bottomed out. Yeah, see, it had bottomed out yet. It's not even anywhere close. Let's see, make sure you're just like you're going in straight. Yes, I'm going in straight, Jeff. Let me see that flashlight. Okay. This stuff's expensive. Yeah. I, this, we may need to do this on a harder surface. That's why I was thinking we should put it over there on my little piece of wood. <clears throat> so. Okay, guys. I got that. I got the uh, outer seal installed, as you can see, hopefully. It's installed, so we're good to go, man. So now we're going to install the inner oil seal. And it's basically the same process uh, except in how the seal goes in. So the seal will go in this direction like that. So we got to do the same thing with this one. We got to get thread lock put on it. So let me go get my thread. Oh, here it is right here. So we're ready to do this one. I wiped out the, the uh, also wiped out the uh, bearing race in there to make sure I didn't get any thread lock uh, on it. Because you know that's a no-no. So... Now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to get some thread lock. And put on there. It's probably about all we're going to need. About right like that. Don't want to get too crazy. Drop that guy in there. So we're ready to see it set that one, Jeff. Get her done. Get her done, huh? So I'm going to go over here and bang on this thing and get this one in. You got it in there ready to move? 
Okay, guys, I got the uh, I got the inner seal installed. Got it all cleaned out in there, so both seals are now installed into the bearing carrier. And I thought I'd mention that the inner seal replaces Mercury Part 26-896. Six hundred, so that's the part number. So now we're ready to grease up the roller bearing and get it uh, placed into the bearing race. But I'm going to wait on that uh, for a bit and let that blue thread lock dry. Uh, let it have more time to dry. So. Uh, when we get ready to put the roller bearing in and put the uh, reverse gear back on, we'll, we'll uh, come back at you. So uh, let's go ahead and let this dry. Okay, guys, uh, next step, we've got the uh, oil seals in. The next step is to get this uh, roller bearing put in the uh, bearing race in the inside. But before we do that, we need to, to add some grease to the inside of the oil seals. And we're gonna be using uh, Quicksilver. Uh, marine grease is 2,4-C. So I'm showing for both cameras there. But uh, that's the grease that we're gonna be using. And now for the messy part. You got that spoon, Jeff? It's right there beside you. Don't need much to start No, out. but when you pack that that gear, even though it's gonna be in lower unit oil, you still gotta pack it. Yeah. And give it a fighting chance. Right. So, I'm applying it to the uh, where the uh, two seals meet. Okay, do that side. Do this side. For the seals, you could use silicone grease as well, but I was well just lather it up with that stuff's good grease. Yeah. And then we're also going to put it in the bearing race. So that, the best way to do this, you know, is. Uh, We want to make sure to get that bearing race real good. And these gloves are kind of small for or uh, large for my hand. Okay, let's see if I can see the rest of it here. Got the seals and the bearing race done. Now we've got to pack this bearing. And uh, Jeff, you want to do that? No, I don't want to get greasy. You just, don't want to get greasy. You already got gloves on, so just take take. I, I don't like doing this stuff, but so you're it's gonna, all good. You're just gonna so you're gonna get a big glove in your in your hand. Well, here, you're going to have to do it for me there, Jeffrey. That's probably, Big old glob. It's probably way more than you need, but probably. Here, here take your finger wipe it off. Put it in your hand, and you're just going to take this. You mean this. you don't want to put your finger in there? Huh. No? No. Okay. So then you're just going to take this. And just roll it. And tap it, pull, push it into the grooves. And just keep going around it for a few minutes until you get it all in there. Ooh. Yeah, it's thick grease. 
And then you can also, you're just pushing it up in there. And then you also can like push it into the side. It'll help it. Well, you're doing it right, just keep going. These gloves, I tell you. But you almost have to push it in there. You know what I mean? Well, it is in there. I'm telling you, you just got to keep You're doing it. You're always telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good Lord. Yeah, on this, more is more. Huh? You said you gave me more than enough. I did. We'll wipe off the excess and put it back in the. So just. It's expensive grease. Yeah, it is. I think a tube is like 20 bucks or something. Okay. So now that's in there. Now you just want to put it down in there and let it set in its place. And that grease will kind of hold it in its place. flipped over on me. <laughs> Figures. Drop it in there and it flips over on me. <laughs> Did you hear me, Jeff? <laughs> he can't stand it. He's got a tinker. And you can flip it up by under, from underneath, too. All right. All right, so then. Okay, next step is to put the, uh, now that we got the roller bearing in there, the next step, you can get this out of my way, Jeff. I don't need this stuff anymore. Thank you. Well, we we'll might need that to tack, kind of. But anyway, the next step is to uh, put this whole ring on the top. And use a bunch of grease. And also, we're going to have to take this in on the press and make sure this bearing didn't get jarred any whenever we pull the reverse gear off. So this top bearing, we're going to make sure it's set in there good. So we probably would do that first, honestly, because then, so we might as well but, just move indoors. But anyway, since we're on this, okay, basically... What I was going to say is this O-ring goes on top of here, and I wanted to cover the part since we have already started on it. So basically it's Mercury Part 25-8M0142840, and that's the, o, that's the part number. And that goes on top of the output bearing. And just to show you real fast where it goes, so you know, you'll see it later in the video, I'm sure. But it just goes right there like that. It just slips on there. So now we're ready to take it in there to press and uh, make sure this is pressed in. And then uh, put the O-ring on. The thrust bear, uh, the thrust, what do they call that? Washer. The thrust washer. And then the the reverse gear so that's where we're at that's the next steps all right we got our you know our bearing carrier in a press and so i've just got to i want to set this this here uh <laughs> i'm not thinking i guess they call that the output it's, bearing i'm not really i mean sure. it's a bearing you know what i mean so the outer bearing outer bearing however you want to say it 
but uh, we just want to make sure that's set good so and I've got you know just there's a seal driver but I got another little piece of aluminum just so I don't mess up my seal driver but we're just gonna put a little pressure on this and whoa well there went that yeah well we'll get that in a minute That's all you need, really. Yeah. Just we're just doing this to verify that that has is still in place. Uh, whenever we took the slide head or took the reverse gear off, it, it could potentially jar that bearing. So it's good that we did that. So now we want to grease up this bearing real good with that 24C. Cause we're gonna put this here. I mean, we could do like that, but I like to grease them. So when they go inside, they go, they go real nice. This doesn't degrade any kind of rubber parts. That's why I kind of like it. It's just silicone grease, but we're just gonna spray a little. And then we'll just put that on the outside there. Then we're just gonna take then our thrust ring. I'm gonna set that like right now, there. Before you do that, let me look at that a second. There was something I noticed about that. What? Pull it out. Look at it. There's one side. Should be the same both sides. It's got different wear than the other side, and I'm wondering. If that needs to be a certain direction. Well, this side is a little more where it was down, where I think this side was up. I don't think it really matters for this ring, but I see what you're saying. It's just a thrust, so it's loose anyway. Right. So we're gonna set that like so. And then we're gonna have to get a block of wood, you know, cause we're gonna set this in here and hopefully we got enough room. Yeah, he used a block of wood and then that very well, I don't want to set on top of the wood. I may have to drop this one more though, Chuck. If we're gonna set any kind of piece of wood in there. Yeah. So you just wanna put your reverse gear in and you can kind of fill the groove. Just get it nice and straight on there so anyway you just kind of set it in there get it started and then I'm gonna use this so I don't mess up my tool yeah that'll work and then you know we're just gonna okay so the start over we're we got this centered up as best we can because we don't want to mess this up. And then we're going to use a block of wood because we don't want to mess up our teeth on our gear. So, and this you may, dang you it. may need a smaller block of, of wood. Let me look. Yeah, I may have to cut this. I don't know why it's wanting to. There we go. And then I got a little piece of aluminum just so, you know, I'm not indenting on the block of wood. And then we want to center this guy up just as center as we can get it. I got it, Chuck. Did you? Yeah. Keep coming. Go ahead. We're centered up. Center on. Pressure's on it. Ooh. 
What was that? It went into place. Keep going one more. There you go. Keep going on down. Keep on coming. Keep coming. One more. Stop. That's it. Yeah. Is it too high? No. Be sure. Yeah. I mean, when it pressed it, it it pressed it all the way down. Well. well. Yeah, I just I don't know where where it's supposed to. You know, because that's part of the shimming, right? Yeah. Just want to make sure we got it at the right. Here's a. Oh, uh, we flash. could probably go just a hair more, maybe. Here's another flashlight if you need it. No. Let's jack this back down. That's gotta be it. All right, there she is, right there, and uh, she's back on there. So reverse gears back on. There we go. I uh, will just go ahead and grease up the shaft because give it a chance anyway. I want these edges of this spline to. Mess up our seal. Here's some paper towels. And then we're gonna make sure we put our spacer on. Yeah, that's the first the, thing it's got to go on. That's the preload spacer. And then we got a shim. make sure that your oil hole is on the bottom yep all right and then it's just gonna go in there like so Flashlight, yeah, chucks. Over here. There you go. So you'll notice there's, I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, there's like a little indentation at the bottom of this where the O ring, I mean, where the, for the, the drain plug. And so there's this little tab here and then at the top but you can't see there's another place for this lock ring but it's gonna go in there like uh, let, me, let me see cuz I can't see I think from what I remember the tab goes up like this yeah there's a place where it goes up from what I remember but there's a little place where yeah, there it is. See, and so this is down, and that's yeah. a tab that goes down in there. And then, 
you know, you're just gonna kind of rotate this so this is on the bottom. Make sure that's still like right. There you go. Want that directly on the bottom, which actually probably was about like this. We got this turned sideways if we level this up. You get the idea. So anyway, there's that, and then then we're just gonna take our our retaining nut, which is uh, you know bearing carrier retaining nut, and you want these little holes right here. This is gonna be facing out. Yeah, and it also says off. Yeah, it shows you the direction that yeah, it comes on and goes that off. That goes to the outside. And then you just want to get it started. Sometimes that little tool helps. Yeah. If you go backwards until you feel it catch, then you know. So, <clears throat> then we're gonna get our tool. for 200 foot pounds we most likely can't get that in in this uh while it's like in while you know, it's here sitting, yeah while like it's it's sitting, sitting in, in the here, yeah. cradle but we can do this on the once we get it out to the out there we can mount it back on the power head yeah mount it back then we can get but we can try to get as much as we can and you know i can use my impact gun too which i like to do um and i may do that just to get it pretty tight i can actually get it pretty tight that way yeah so okay well we got the buried carrier back into the gear case so that's good news jeff got the uh, water pump installed so uh, the lower unit is now ready to be put back on the big motor. So uh, I'm all smiles at this point. But uh, that's going to conclude part three. Uh, the next and last, last episode on the lower unit repair, we're going to uh, get the lower unit put back on and get the prop put put back on and then we're going to do a water test so uh, that'll end this little series on the lower unit repair and I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it's been informative and until next time go do something oh and like and subscribe and do all that stuff so we'll see you next time